I went to Thrive because I wanted to deepen my commitment to Genesis and become a member, so that was the next step. I was also excited um, to deepen my walk and um, also connect with fellow Genesis members that I may not know. And Sure enough, I walked in and knew faces but didn't know any of the names, so I got to know the people that I've been seeing in the hallways as actual people. I have been a believer in Jesus my whole life, but I haven't always been a follower. Um, so I feel like Thrive gave me some really practical ways to be a disciple. Um, the most impactful thing I gained from it was that, uh, that God created me intentionally, like even the quirks and little personality things that I don't necessarily love about myself. Um, he made those with purpose and, and those can be used to give Him glory. Also it helped me understand my spouse and how he was made intentionally. Um, and so now I feel like I've been given a way to love him better. One of the big takeaways I got from it was being intentional with my habits, um, creating a space for myself and creating that time margin um, to, to spend my time in the Word and in prayer, um, and just really practical ways to be a disciple um, and to be intentional with my time. If you are looking for a practical way to be a disciple of Jesus, this is the best way to get you lay that foundation down for you. It lays down the foundation. Um, it gives you like a structure that you can follow and adapt according to your own personality, but how to, um, to love the Lord with your heart, your mind, your soul and strength and be intentional in all of those ways. It's even inspired my newest tattoo actually. Um, so I got the word Shema, listen and obey, which goes on for the rest of the verse that we love the Lord with our, our heart, our mind and soul and strength. And it's pretty much a, a declaration that I'm um, going to love God with every aspect of my being, even the aspects of myself I don't necessarily love or understand. Um, I can give Him glory in those ways.